Amazing introduction, and just so you know, the food today has no calories, so don't feel guilty while I'm chatting. You lied. Yeah, well, it's kind of a lie. <laughs> Hopefully that'll be the only one for today. All right, so today I'm going to tell you a little bit about my approach to weight loss, but in the context of a client story. We all like to hear a before and after. So I'm going to tell you about a friend of mine from college. Her name is Barbara, but she goes by Babs. And she contacted me last July and was not in a super great place. Her family has a history of diabetes. She's watching dad really struggle with that, have some cousins that have lost limbs to diabetes. So it's a very serious problem in her family. And perhaps more pertinent to this crowd, she just wasn't feeling good. One of the things she wrote in her intake form when we met to go over my process was, I'm too young to feel this old. So I don't know if anybody in this crowd can relate, but I know I could five years ago. So we did a couple of different things, but I'm gonna kind of walk you through the overall process. So the first thing we really did was get clear on the problem. And so if any of you are working on weight loss, I know it's January, a lot of us have health goals. I want you in your head to finish this sentence. I'd like to lose weight, but I can't because. And if you're not working on a weight goal, then whatever goal you are working on, if it's your business, if it's a money goal, I can't grow my business because. I can't make more money because. Whatever comes after that because, we're gonna put it in imaginary or those Rubbermaid totes. We're gonna recondo your mind, do a little professional organizing. So whatever your brain filled in for the reason why you can't get where you wanna go, just put that in that imaginary Rubbermaid tub. We're gonna put a lid on it and a label. And the label I'm calling all of those reasons is resistance. So I would actually argue that health is our natural state. Abundance, maybe not Jeff Bezos' abundance, but more than enough for a happy life, that's our natural state. And what happens is we unconsciously do things to block that. So my work with the clients is really about figuring out what is blocking that. So that problem is that resistance. If it's a legitimate circumstance, we plan around it. If it's a mindset thing, we work through it. But dealing with that resistance. So the solution to the resistance is to clear it. And I have a proprietary process that I use with my clients to help them clear the resistance. And the acronym for that, to make it easy to remember, is ACE. So ACE is awareness. The first piece is just you know, what actually is the problem? And I will give you a little trick, Anna alluded to it. Tonight, when you sit down in front of the TV with your snack, ask yourself, am I hungry? And if not, then ask yourself, so why am I eating this? And for some of it, it's just habit. Um, for me, I was an emotional eater, but I was 100% unaware that I was eating to make myself feel better until I took the snack away. Then the drama came up. And I was like, oh, now I do feel bad, okay. Um, so awareness, what's driving the eating when we're not physically hungry? Um, and then C is for clearing. And I have a couple of different techniques that I'm trained in. Um, Anna mentioned the Life Coach School, which is more mindset based. I also have an EFT trained, EFT practitioner. And um, I also do something called Theta Healing, which is more like guided meditation, some more woo-woo energy kind of work. So I do that as well. And just pull out of my tool bag whatever the client needs based on what's going on that day. So that's kind of my process. And the result is that clients do lose weight. But it's not just about the weight loss. It's also about all of the sort of surprise secondary gains, the secondary benefits. People are feeling better, right? Because I talked about this on Instagram recently. That look that we're all looking for, we think it's something like slim or fit. It's actually healthy. I know it's disappointing because the only way, in my opinion, <laughs> such a bummer. Like, I don't want to be healthy. I just want to look healthy. But <laughs> If you want to look healthy, you need to be healthy. And I say the key to being healthy is actually thinking in a healthy way. So shifting any unhealthy thoughts and feelings so we're more in alignment with um, that true health that we want. 
So the result for Barbara of going through this process was 30 pounds of weight gain. And I will say, if you want to hear it in her own words, lisaduke.net slash YouTube will take you to my YouTube channel. And there is a video there where I kind of interview her and she talks about her experience. So of course I'm going to tell you I'm great, but it's much more powerful <laughs> when somebody else says, yes, this actually worked for me. I got results. Um, so yes, yeah, she lost 30 pounds and then is feeling better. She also had a surprise, um, kind of unpleasant circumstance during all this, her mom passed. And she said the oh. EFT really helped her get through the grief and the stress and everything that went into dealing with those arrangements. So it's definitely more than just the weight loss, it's overall mental health and well-being. Why it works, again, if we can clear what's in the way of what is, I would say, naturally your divine right, that health, then the health comes through. So that is my um, talk for today. I do have in front of you propaganda. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a couple of different ways to engage with me. So if you're like, yeah, I need this, this sounds great. This corner here, schedule, will take you to my online calendar. There's a little form to have you say like, hey, this is my problem. We'll do a conversation one-on-one -on -one for free. I'll give you my insight based on my experience working with clients of what I think the challenge is. And you can take that, you know, DIY it, take that inspiration or we can work together. So if you think I'm probably going to be a client, that's your link. If you're um, thinking the, the square that has the little box around it, if you're like, I don't know that I like one on one is kind of scary. She's going to try to sell me something, but I want to learn more in a safe environment. The corner that has the little box next Tuesday at noon on Zoom, I'm going to be doing a free webinar and we're going to dive more into that ACE methodology, if you're like, she said it, but I didn't get it, that's okay, I got 10 minutes, right? We're gonna take an hour and really dive into that so you can get some more information. If you are 0% interested, but your boss said you have to have a certain number of appointments in January, or you set yourself a goal, <laughs> this box that says networking will also take you to my schedule, but that lets me know not to try to sell you something that we're just gonna visit. And I think that's really the key to an environment like this is, yes, you know, if your husband's a plumber and you're representing his plumbing company, I get it, we don't have to have coffee. But if what you do is a little unique, a little unusual, like my approach to weight loss, then those networking conversations are a great way for us as a team, for each other, everybody's, everybody else's sales team, to build that no trust and like so that we can go out and be ambassadors for each other. So I haven't seen Anna. How, how much time have I got left? Two minutes. Two minutes. I went a little faster than I expected. So hopefully somebody will have a question. What? Oh, go ahead. So how much of your approach is tracking food? Is it do you keep zero a or a log? Okay. No. That makes me very nervous. Yeah, I yeah. <laughs> now I will say um, if somebody loves that, right? If there's a thing that you do that you love and you just want me to help you do that, you're like, I keto is Jesus for me. I'm gonna do the keto. That's fine. My approach is compatible with whatever system you want to follow. It's helping you remove the blocks to following that system. But if you don't like to track. No, I didn't track when I was losing the 50 pounds and it didn't matter. I don't do meal plans. I'm not a nutritionist or a dietitian. I don't do exercise plans. I'm not a personal trainer. It's really about you helping, well, me helping you and you helping you do what you already need to know. I talked to somebody on the way in today. We were talking about that. The, you know, you're a woman over 40. A lot of us are moms. You kind of know. You kind of know it's probably like more vegetables, less ice cream. You just don't want to do it. <laughs> so any other questions? I think there was one out in the lobby. I had a question. Perfect. Ah, this um, is going to be good. Yeah. So if you could have your favorite go-to snack knowing your own parameters, what is it? Oh, like a healthy snack or like a good oh. snack? Like, those are two different. Like what's the blend? Hmm. Um, a good tasting. Yeah, you know, I like apples and peanut butter. Oh, now, yes, <laughs> so you're getting some protein and you're getting some fiber. Um, probably a little fat in the peanut butter too. So it's good. 
I'll tell you another thing that I've been doing, and this is a little weird, but um, I just found matcha tea, you know, the green tea that you mix up. And I don't know what, I do the matcha tea and then like an eighth of a teaspoon of turmeric and um, turmeric, it's that orange stuff, right? And um, a little cinnamon on top, a little unsweetened, um, what do you call it, almond milk, unsweetened. And then a little cinnamon on top. And it, you know, it tastes like grass, but. <laughs> So I don't have as much desire to snack between meals. Good. Round of applause.